What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And before we get into the gameplay, we're going to take a quick look at this team right now. You can see we're really, really balling out. If you want to see me in Mutt, bro, follow me on Twitch at GMI's World. You may run into me. This squad right here is undubitably one of the greatest teams ever assembled. We were currently 90 overall um, in the world in Mutt before this game right here but let's go ahead and talk about some madden 18 the actual gameplay that's going to be coming this week because a lot of guys are putting out that they have gameplay but i only seen maybe one or two videos with uh recorded cell phone footage apparently ea sports doesn't want anybody to see anything about the game until the proper time but it's supposed to be coming this week along with some blogs about things that are going on with madden 18 and um the expectations from what i'm seeing um from the viewers and uh the people that are really interested is very very high and I'm here to tell, look, I don't know what you're going to be able to expect from the game. Like right now, this is the game that I'm playing. This guy right here, the last time I played him, I think I beat him by like 60 or 70 points, right? But the way that Madden is, the way that Madden has become, you can't really consistently beat bums. I remember back in the day, bro, when you were raw in Madden, you were just raw in Madden. It, it didn't matter how, like, you, we would have to do things like spot somebody 21 points for it to even be a close game because the game was so non-flukish. But a lot of things that have transpired, bruh, transpired with the Madden series, I'm telling you right now, you, yo, until you guys see it, you can't really believe it. But you'll get blown out by somebody with no hands. Like, it's really that easy to play this game. And um, a lot of the reason behind that is because the computer does a lot of things for you. So you don't really have to do as much. So um, with some of the new features that are coming in Madden 18 that I'm very, very proud of uh, that somebody was able to say, you know what? maybe we should do this is you can't just hold down the interception button anymore on defense um you're gonna have to time it for the interception so you can't just start at the snap and just be holding triangle or holding y when you're on defense that's a huge step all right um into making the game a little bit more competitive that way um you just can't hold the button and think it's sweet like right there he's waiting for a high pass the dude just high passing i don't know exactly how the high pass um is going to be translated into madden 18 because okay yeah hold on to the ball though but i'm pretty sure regardless of the simulation style competitive style it, it's not going to be a situation where it's going to be balanced in my opinion because it's very very difficult to stop all the nonsense that goes on within this game and that's why i'm really happy that i got this gameplay footage to show you so you guys can take a look at it and see the kind of things that happen he held, he held on to that that's very very rare even though he has a very very high catch rating randy moss is probably the ultimate ticket randy moss is probably one of the worst cards in the game he sucks um but look, yeah let's get back to the madden 18 gameplay all right so when you look at it from the gameplay what what is what the hell's going on with that from the gameplay you might have saw already um whether you were at ea play or you know somebody that was at ea play um, you may have been told that you have no control over your receiver anymore. Um, I don't know if that's going to be changed before the launch date. Um, they're going to use what's called target passing uh, to help you lead your uh, receiver where, it's, where they're supposed to be. Um, in my opinion, if that's true, the information that I've been told about uh, not being able to control your receiver, that already should let you know that it's going to be a lot of crazy things that's going to be going on in Madden 18. Because if you can't control your receiver, it doesn't really make sense to have a remote. You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, he, he, oh, oh, okay. Hold on to it. Don't worry about it, bro. Keep holding on to that. Um, it's a. I, I just people keep asking me, yo, G Maya, are you excited? And I can't be. It's like, you know, going raw dog on the chick, and then you're excited to hear the call back to find out if she's pregnant or not. Like, it's a very, very nervous excitement. You don't really want to have to experience what you think is coming. It's sort of like with Game of Thrones. You know that winter is here, but you've been waiting for it for like seven seasons. So it's like, all right, it's about a goddamn time. Like you're just waiting for something good to happen. And we don't know if that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because is it fishy that the game is less than like 20, 20 days away for our early access for, uh, Xbox and we have no footage? Probably. But does that mean the game is going to be bad? No. Did he just catch that? Yeah, okay. All right, you know what? I'm trying to be very, very logical about the things that uh, I can help you guys understand the way my train of thought right now. But then as I'm looking at what goes on, I just can't, I don't know if they get that that's a problem because these things were going on in 16 and then it transferred to 17. And because com people complained about the aggressive catch being OP, they gave us a swap mechanic that was already in 16, but just told us that it is a swap mechanic now in 17. Because I don't think you guys understand. When Madden 16 was launched, the swap button is identical to what it is in 17. 
They just took away your ability to swap with the patch for 16 and made the game a total trash heap. That's all that really happened with 16. So if we really think about it, 16 is 17. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not really something that you could really argue if you got... Remember, I've been getting Madden at launch since Madden's been coming out in, uh, in the Sega Genesis days. You know what I'm saying? So at, at those Sega's, the Sega Genesis days, it wasn't my uh, game, though. Like, my uncles and stuff had it. So, yo, bro, you already know how it is. If you got it, we got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you in the hood. Like, bro, as long as we take care of it, and I'll have my friends come over and break your stuff, I can use it. That was a rule in the hood right there. So when I say Genesis, that was my uncle or whatever, but we had it, all right? Always getting to that launch, always playing Madden. So I've been around Madden for a very, very long time. So you guys have to understand something. When we're talking about copy and paste, that's what 16 and 17 were. That, if you were being honest about it. Now we go to the Frostbite engine, okay? And we have to be able to figure out what are they going to do different to take what the what was that is he playing soccer that looked like he was doing it on his knees like pele um what are they going to do differently to change the experience of both the veteran madden players and the new madden players because you got to try to give a balance to make everybody happy which is why i think they have all the different styles like the competitive all these are the different styles they got going on um but in all actuality i don't think you can really remove the ridiculousness of what Madden 17 is. So a lot of, like, look, all I'm gonna say is this. If there's predetermined animations in Madden 18, I don't think they got it. I don't think they understand that they don't need to have that in the game. And that's a problem because that's very, see, that's something that I'm gonna always stand by regardless of what anybody tells me as being very, very stupid. Because even when you play like Mario Brothers, bro, just think about it like this. Back like eight, what the hell was that? Like eight bits, 16 bits, Super NES, whatever like that. You go all the way back to Bonk's Adventure. There was no predetermined animation, bro, because you had a remote. So why would they start giving you predetermined animations now? Even in Final Fantasy, bro, where you had to like, you know, press the button for what you wanted to do, it wasn't predetermined. You were getting what you were pressing it for even though they took away the ability for you to actually have the fight animation with the actual, you know what I'm saying, when you press the button and then you actually attack, they get, you got exactly what you were pressing the button for. There was never a time where you had no control over what was going on. That's what my issue is with the game. And I don't think that they get that. I don't think they understand that that's not, it doesn't make sense for where we are in the year that we are. Even though people were predicting that we'd have flying cars by now and all we have is selfie sticks, that's not the point. The point is this. You can't, what the fuck, what, what? Yo, get him, what the, f listen. You cannot put out a game where a, in, a interception has been predicted by Moses before Christ, and then it just happens in the game. You can, I don't, and, and that came about because of a patch in Madden 16. I wish I could play Madden 16 for 18 just without the patch at launch. That's how desperate I am for a decent game. We're probably not going to get all our dreams and what we're asking for. We're gonna get what EA Sports is gonna provide us um, and we're gonna have to deal with it. But like I said, NBA 2K18, I will be there, bro. If Madden 18 is garbage, and when I say garbage, like it's unbearable, because like I said, I could deal with a little bit of stuff. Like a couple, you know, when you throw the ball through my lungs and I don't die, stuff like that, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I like the way the ha Clinton Dixon stayed way, way, way back and let him catch the ball comfortably in front of him. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of through my body. I could do that. Uh, a lot of drops. I could do that. Uh, my guy's not playing defense. Zone's not working. Uh, I could do all that. But it, it's just about the fact that I want to be able to strafe. I don't want to slide around like I'm on Disney on ice because I didn't pay for a ticket to see Disney on ice. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't do that. So I don't want that. I just want to be able to play defense. I want to be able to use my guy without... What the hell is that? Yo, listen. I, yo, look, bro. What in the holy mother F? That was a... what? Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's be honest, bro. That was kind of wild. That was kind of wild. And will that be in Madden 18? More than likely. Um, I would say if you got, if you got like the lowest spec catch rating... In, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's going to stay right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and swerve him. All right. So this one's over. But I want to know what you guys' expectations are. What are your expectations for Madden 18? Because I, I already, bro, I'm going to get it regardless. And I'm going to let you guys know what I'm feeling. Let me know what you're feeling in the chat. Are you anxious to see the gameplay this week?
Till next time, one love.